and we are on to challenge number five. I hope your legs are feeling nice and jelly after yesterday. Today we're gonna put the pressure on the upper body. Let's get to it. So, in today's challenge, we are gonna go upside down. Now, I know that is very scary for a lot of people, and that is the reason why we have three different levels. So, challenge number five will be a handstand challenge. How long can you stand in a handstand? Either freestanding or up against the wall. For 99.9% .9 of you guys out there, you will most likely use the wall. So, level a, we are gonna do a pike handstand using a chair or a table or whatever you have available. As you see in the video here, I'm putting my feet on the chair and then I'm walking my hands as close to the chair, bringing my back to as ver a vertical position as I can. I have to bend my knees here because of tight hamstrings. Some people might be able to keep the legs straight. That is more technically correct. So if you can do that, straight legs, the hips are the highest point, and then we have the back going down vertically. Our width between our hands is gonna be shoulder width or maybe a little bit wider with your fingers pointing forward. How long can you stay before you have to go down? That is the challenge. Level A. Level B, we're gonna use the wall. You can kick up into a handstand like you see here, kicking your heels up to the wall, squeezing your midline. Make sure you don't collapse in your lower back so we have that collapsed U-shape in the lumbar spine. Make sure we squeeze the glutes, bring that pelvis under your spine, nice and straight from heels to your hands. Try to get as close to the wall as possible. While bracing your midline, you're just gonna look straight ahead, fingers pointing forward, and hands just outside shoulders or shoulder width. Another thing you can do, like I show in this video, is that you can do a wall climb. So basically facing the wall now, climbing as close as you can to the wall, looking into the wall, but everything else is exactly the same. The rotation of your hands is the same, the grip width is the same, the bracing of your midline is also the same. Again, we're gonna see how long you can stay in that position before you have to get down. And then lastly, level C, the last one. We're gonna do shoulder taps. So instead of the challenge being how long can you stay, now the challenge is how many shoulder taps can you do before you have to get down. I advise for this movement that you do it wall facing because it is a little bit harder to do when you kick up facing away from the wall. So like you see in this video, I'm gonna do a wall climb into my handstand and then I'm gonna start alternating arms touching uh, one shoulder and then the other. So my right hand is gonna to touch my left shoulder, my left hand is then gonna to touch my right shoulder. You can see I'm kind of moving my weight back and forth, so I put all the weight on one arm and then with the other hand that is now unloaded, I'm gonna to touch that opposing shoulder and so forth back and forth. Now, make sure you go easy with this one. Don't push it too deep into fatigue. Make sure that you feel comfortable so we don't end up falling down and hurting ourselves. And that is basically for all the three levels, we have to make sure that we do feel comfortable. We don't wanna push it outside that comfort zone too far because we don't want to risk injury. Obviously being upside down is not uh, that normal for most people out there. So make sure that you take care and you have fun. And, and that's what it is. A, B or C, how long time can you stand? How many reps can you get on the shoulders? That is challenge number five. As always, film yourself and then upload the last 10 seconds, write your score, maybe even what level you're doing, tag some friends you would like to invite with the challenges, and that's it. Thank you for being with me so far and thank you for taking part of this. I'm gonna wish you the best of luck and I will see you in challenge number six. Uh -huh.